Listen to this. What do you hear? Exactly nothing. No sounds, no cars honking, no people shouting. Am I in Delhi or am I back in Kochi? What is going on? <laughs> it's 5.15 in the morning by the way and no, I'm not getting out of bed. I was just so surprised that it was so quiet. Okay, going back to bed now. Actually, a really good thing we didn't go to the Taj Mahal today because I really had a lot of editing to do. And also, I have to buy a salwar kameez, maybe two, for the Diwali celebrations. So, let's go outside and see what Delhi looks like in daylight. This is one of the main streets, Delhi in the daylight. It's crazy, seriously. It's, I think it's like Bombay times 10 regarding to craziness. Also, I get a lot more stairs. Yeah, this is definitely something I haven't seen before in India. It's a new aspect. Of course, it's always there. I just haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Delhi is loco. And of course, you have awesome people everywhere. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> is it possible for the world to be more crazier than this? Or am I just having West girl issues? It truly takes some adjusting from my side, but it's it's an amazing adventure. If you like adventure, <laughs> Delhi is for sure the place to be. And like always, smile, 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 smile. The world is a much friendlier place when you smile. And also it's very relaxing to smile. Yeah, it looks like the perfect way to take a map. <laughs> I can breathe again. This is a little bit more quiet area and the area where I'm staying it's very touristy so Angel already warned me not to eat there but also the moment I walked out there are people on me and they don't take no as the first answer so this one guy he was like oh but I'm just trying to help you and he looked really friendly but I got a really bad vibe and I'm very very strict when it comes to vibes like if you have a bad vibe bye I don't owe you anything so here it's nice and relaxed and I'm just walking to Connaught place because Anjit also told me that I will be able to eat something over there. It's better than the place, the area where I'm staying. Yes, this is also a perfect way to fix your oven. Just put some dough around it and let it dry. And then afterwards you can eat the rest of the dough. Perfect, do it yourself. Yes, Connaught place definitely looks very different. It's a really nice place to shop. I was exhausted and extremely hungry, so Subway is the first option I could find and I know for sure that I won't get sick, at least I hope so. But luckily, they have local options and they have paneer. Yay, I have a paneer Subway sandwich. I found something that I like, really, really love this blue one. I don't know, I think it's a little bit too big. It needs to be more tailored. And also, I have a really pretty pink one. Yeah, I bought a blue and a pink top and I don't have to look like a hobo on Diwali. I am so, so tired. Getting back to the hotel room and just finishing up some work. In case you're wondering why we haven't seen much of Delhi, well, I'll be back in two weeks. So there's plenty of time to walk around in Delhi then. Aka! Finally, a first big cow in the streets of India. Hello. It's really big. Seriously, it's huge. Look at the man behind it. it. Took me half a day, but yes, I can finally say that I am in love with Delhi. Sorry. <laughs> can you see the sun? It's gorgeous. The sun is going down. I'm almost back in my area. Delhi is loco. I have no other word for it. No other word that describes it correctly. Crazy doesn't even cover it. It's loco. Out of its mind. <laughs> but it's the perfect place if you're looking for adventure. I'm happy. I feel comfortable in Delhi now. Houston, we have a problem. I forgot I have a complimentary breakfast and I just realized it's now 7 p.m. What is wrong with me? Free food! What did yoga do to me? I'm going to set my alarm for tomorrow. Free food! I don't want to eat at the restaurant connected to this hotel again because I ate there last night so I want to try something new. And I'm looking on TripAdvisor map so there are a couple of options. This one Allure, although it's very local. Hello Imi! <laughs> and um, 
a couple of girls mentioned that they were the only women in there so I'm just going to check it out also there's another restaurant here as well upstairs like mm, here southern welcome restaurant but I've been in the south so I'm actually craving North Indian food let's see which one is best I chose Allure it has a little bit of the red light district vibe but the menu looked really good and the restaurant is nearly empty just enough people for me to sit comfortable so I ordered something I'm loving this flashlight on my iPhone I can finally show you things in the dark so I ordered veg fried rice next to that I ordered veg kufta I have no idea what it is but it looks delicious so I can't wait to get started on this meal okay this might look gross but it's actually like a meatball but the vegetarian version and I just smashed it up a little bit looks delicious and smells delicious as well Wow this food was insane it tasted so 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 good I can highly recommend restaurant Allure in Pahar Ganj, Delhi if you're ever in the area go for it it's really nice they also have some entertainment <laughs> It's a really nice place to eat. Look at the signs outside of my hotel window. I especially love this one. I would love this above my bed, you know? Who likes, um, what's it called? Like light art or something like that? Correction, I would like one with Bombay written. Not New Delhi, Bombay. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to Angie's family. The train is not even crowded. All the Ola cab app. Delhi is local. Delhi is Mad Max. 